feel very strongly that we have to find opportunities for older persons to continue to work if they want to. Because persons say that the government has extended the, the, the time that persons might be able to work, but there are many people who reach that age and want to work. The power of this entire thing is that people must have the dignity to choose. It is about choice, and it is about autonomy to make that choice. It is not that the government should force you beyond your desire to work, but if you have the competency, the capacity, you can still work and you want to work, then persons should be allowed to work. The other thing in relation to these ambitions is that persons must not then, because they're old, be given menial tasks that people look down upon, you know, to say that, oh, let me just put them here one side. That is nonsense. Because again, you are not recognizing the resources and the resource that is available to you when we think about this thing differently. It is okay to say you want to have all young people working and this society must find space to create work for young people. It must. It cannot be, however, that there is only space for young people and not space for older people because, as I said to you, 40% of Barbados is now over 50. So then that would mean that the vast majority of Barbadians, as they get older, would not be working. And that obviously has implications for the country. It has implications for our capacity to be able to produce and so on. But older persons already have told us that they also want to give back. And we have to create that space for older persons to give back. I know the Granddaddy Project that Cinti Ford is working on is going to be one of those examples. I know that BARP has a number of persons who are desirous of being able to give back. And we have to create a structure, I think, that allows them to give back in a way that is safe and a way that allows them to do so with dignity. Because they've said it. They want to be able to give back. 